Hey guys, it's painting time. Today I'm going to be painting the Federation of Tears Hog and Hulk Slayer from Table Hammer. I'm going to break this video up into two parts. In this first part, I'm going to paint Hagen himself, to the highest standard I can currently do. And then in the second part, I'll be tackling painting the display base. I'm going to start by spray priming all the parts black. I have decided to paint all the armoured areas in black. So once all the primer has dried, I'm going to start with a layering, a thin down P3 coal black. I really like my black armor to be highlighted with desaturated blues. My paint consistency is somewhere between a glaze and a layer. My second layer is going to be a mix of coal black and grave digger denim. And I'm going to paint all the upper surfaces and areas I would like some more focus of the armor panels. My third layer is going to be straight grave digger denim. My fourth layer will be a mix of grave digger denim and troll blood. My fifth layer will be straight troll blood, and here is where I'll start doing the edging process. My last edge highlight will be a mix of troll blood and ivory, and here I'm going to do all the extreme highlights where I can. For all the cloth areas under the armor, I wasn't quite sure what to paint it, so I stuck to a neutral colour and chose grey. I started with medium sea grey, but soon realised that it was just too bright, so went back and painted it with a mixture of Joe Sandra's carbon black and Nimbus grey, then progressively added more Nimbus grey to the mix for more highlights, with my final highlight being with pure Nimbus grey.
For all the gold decorative areas, I'm going to paint it with Scale 75's black gold. Then wash it with a carbon black. After the wash has dried, I'm going to brighten it back up with black gold. And my final highlight will be with Peridot Alchemy. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. It's from Scale 75. And with this final highlight, I'm going to do sort of an overbrush of all the protruding details. And if I do get it in areas I don't want, I'll just come back with black gold and paint over it. For the silver metallic parts, I painted it in gunmetal from Vallejo Metal Color. This video is not in the order I painted it, but I did wash the silver with carbon black while I was washing the gold, and I left it in this very dark metal color. I base the skin on his face with Plague Brown from Vallejo. Once the base coat has dried, I will do a wash of carbon black. Then highlighted it back up with medium skin tone. And since it's such a small area and his head is facing downwards, I didn't feel the need for more highlights. Now for the iconic dwarf beard. I'm going to be painting the beard in an orange color. In this instance it will be Joe Sanja's orange. So I'm going to start off with a base coat of white. Any white will do as long as you have a solid color. Once the white has dried, just apply the orange color over all the white areas. 
Make sure it's a solid color and you can't see any white. When the orange is dried, I will do a wash of Joe Sanja's Napful Red and mix with Black Carbon Black. And wash it over all the beard, making sure I get it into the deepest recesses. Once the wash is dried, I will come back and reapply my orange base coat on all the upper surfaces of the beard. And for my final highlight, I will do a mixture of orange and light yellow from Joe Saunders and get all the extreme highlight areas. Now for the cake. This was one of the more difficult parts of painting the mini for me. I wasn't sure about the color and how to approach it. As you can see the fold details are quite subtle and I had a lot of trouble seeing where the folds and raised areas were. That's no fault of the mini, it's just my eyes. I printed an extra cake so I used that to test the colors and techniques before I landed on this one. So to start, I mixed Napful Red and Carbon Black 50-50 and used that as my base coat. Then added progressively more red to the mix and doing a stipple layer over the raised areas and folds. And you continue adding more red to the mix till you get to pure Napful Red. I did about 7 coats before I was happy. And if you want to darken the recesses or clean some of the overspill, just get some very thin black and layer it into the recesses. All the gold detail was done the same as before.
And lastly, for the sword, I'm going to try wet blending. I'm not very good at it, but I think the sword would benefit from a wet blend. I'm going to base the blade with Vallejo Light Turquoise. And while it is wet, I'm going to blend in some white on the outer parts of the sword. Keep going back and forth with these two colors till you're happy. And when you're done, finish off the sharp edge with a white edge highlight. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please keep an eye out for part 2. I'll leave links to Table Hammer's Patreon and My Many Factory Tribes in the description below. Please like, subscribe and if there's anything you would like to see me cover, please leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you in my next video.